Hi dearest, today I'm going to be showing you how I made this trendy cinnamon fascinator. Here are the items I made use of. You can pause and write them down. You can also check the description of this video below and you will find the Amazon, the AliExpress and my links to purchase them if you can't find them in your local store. So let's get into today's tutorial. So here I am getting ready for all the items I need to make to mold my own fascinator bits. You can purchase them and I'll drop the link up so if you check up you can see them. I also have a video that I made on how to make the fascinator base yourself so you can check the link up or also in the description. So my unit's ready, what do you think? Let me know in the comments section below. So the next thing I want to do is attach my Alice band to my fascinator base and i'm going to be making use of fishing line to do so now i want it on the side i don't want it on the top of my head so that's why i'm placing it there now there are two ways you can do now i'm doing it a loop around but if i know i'm not going to place anything on it this is what you do you pass it through the same place that you brought the thread out of did you take note of that okay now before we get forward now if you want to know more about cinnamon I would advise you join this class, it will get you to know some more things on how to work with cinnamon. Alright, let's get back to today's tutorial. Okay, so here I have 13 by 13 inch cinnamon and I have them in two places. The first I do is take one of them and I cut it diagonally, as in not cut it, sorry, I fold it diagonal on the diagonal. That should be right, isn't it? Okay, so then I take my... um tailor's chalk and I make a curve can you see the curve and then I take my scissors and I cut following that curve you see what we're gonna get the shape we're gonna get now we have an over shape now let me tell you the big width of the over shape that is 3.5 inches yeah okay that's on both sides meaning seven inch all right so I've cut two and you're gonna be seeing what I'm gonna make the two to do first of all I take one of it and I'm using my 1.2 millimeter gauge hat wire so I'm folding it right there with my hand yes 1.2 millimeter gauge is flexible like that and I'm going to be I folded it to the shape of the curve if you took note now I'm gonna be sewing it to my cinnamon the cone no that's no, that's not semicircle that's an over shape yeah or egg shape yeah yeah over shape cinnamon that i've cut out so this is how you sew now before as you're watching rather i would like to let you know that i do have a class a free class in the Vencraft academy on millinery hat wire so it will get you know to get you to know which hat wire to use for certain situations so if you want to join you can also join and um, click the link in the description below and make a request for it so now i've reached the other edge and i'm bending it like so so i'm going to keep on sewing all the way around the oval or egg shape cinnamon that we have cut out or oh, keep watching and learning now we're almost getting to the end and I'm going to use my famous cutter to cut it it cuts it so quick oh yeah and someone uh, you asked me some of you asked me for this um hat wire cutter and I got some of them in fact I got a carton so I have this left and I'm selling them at a premium price you want to contact me in the DIY kit for yours do take note of how I'm doing the wire like this at the close you um, cross it across each other so that it doesn't pop out and you ensure that you sew them firmly like so all right the next thing you want to do of course is to cover the hat wire you don't want it looking like that well it could actually be a design hmm. thinking about that okay <laughs> anyway so i'm gonna you be using bias to cover mine you can actually make um cinnamon straps cinnamon bias rather cinnamon bias to cover it up that's also I taught in Fascinator Class 3 in the Ventcraft Academy, which I already informed you about before. And you can get the link below in the description to join to request for the class. But I'm making use of bias. You can also use trimmings, you can also use Peter Sham. So I'm going to be covering it all the way round. Keep watching it later. Okay, we're done with that. So I'm taking off the pegs now. That helps us to glue it fast all the way around. And then I'm 
shape in it all right so that's me giving it a shape you may want to check the shape with a fascinator base so that you know whether you're getting it in the right way you want you can see that the hot wire is flexible that if you try using one other one the 1 1.5 you ain't gonna bend at all that's why you have to attend that class all right so the next thing that i'm gonna do is the second thing i used which remember is the second one that we cut out the same thing as the other one now what i'm doing is i'm folding the bias i'm going to fold it all the way around like half an inch all the way around and i'm going to be folding it twice Okay, so we're on the second fold, like so. Then I give it a little drag just to get them to stick together a bit but I'm going to do something more to ensure that it doesn't lose it it remains the way I want it to be keep watching you get to see that Okay, but before then I got excited with the design and started checking it out okay but what you do actually is you take your glue and you put it you open just the second layer you did and put it all the way around and stick it all right so that done the next thing I do is to fold to give it this bow like look and I fold it again like so on top I hope you got it if you didn't get it just re rewind a bit and do it again it's an easy step it's just something I just created as I was making this design I wanted to do something unique you know me always creative with my creative cap and thanks to the Holy Spirit all right okay so the next thing I'm gonna do is attach that um, bended cinnamon that i did on top of my fascinator base now you want to actually check this on your mannequin head to be sure you're getting it in the right position you want it to be now with the position i want it to be i have to sew it at the two edges and also the middle to hold it firmly then i take this i think i should call them cinnamon large leaves or what do you think do let me know in the comment section below so i'm actually gauging where do i put it that it's going to look fine and I finally got to my spot and I'm going to use the fishing line to sew it also. Now let me tell you the reason why I'm using fishing line. So just in case you get into that same situation, you don't break your neck. So what actually happened was I was looking for my cream thread all around the store and I couldn't find it. And I was like, oh yeah, fishing line. And that's what I got to use. Alright, so keep watching that. Learning. Okay, once that was done, I took my spiking feathers and I started using the glue ubu gun to stick them sparingly all around. Sometimes I don't like my feathers being full. Sometimes I like being, it looking simple and it kind of looks elegant. When I was making this, I actually brought to mind, um, I think it's Kate, um, the Princess Kate, yeah, or is it Princess Megan? Hmm let me know who this who, which princess this reminds you of okay then i took the fan feathers and i chopped it off a little bit so i'm actually using it to cover up a little of the fishing line i was seeing on the sewing there so i gave it another dash of look over there <laughs> all right don't go we have um a challenge although the challenge is in another challenge you get to understand what i'm talking about next thing of course you need to do is to cover up the back and I made use of my cinnamon so what I did was just to fold it into a rectangle in the enough size that would cover the back 
using my Uluga. And that's how I made this trendy cinnamon or tomato. Yeah, remember we had a game challenge last week Wednesday on this my lovely best selling lace fascinator and no one actually quite got the answer to win to attend Miss Class 3 for free. So it's still up, so I'm directing you back. And if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up if you want to keep watching such. You need to click that subscribe button and the bell so you get notified when I upload new videos. And before I go, in case you haven't given an answer to that last week's challenge and you want to join now with the Ben Craft Academy, Miss Class 3 for free, click this video, watch it and answer the question accurately. One winner!